How often should I bathe my Labrador? What is the best way to bathe a lab? How can I bathe my dog myself? We will talk you through the process in simple steps. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. Do Labradors need bathing and grooming? All dogs need grooming, but you'd be forgiven at first glance for thinking it's minimal with a lab. After all, Labradors have a wonderfully easy-looking coat. It is short, dense and very waterproof. No tangles to comb out of ears. No fur balls to gather in their trousers. But Labradors shed like crazy, and to keep them comfortable and your home relatively fur-free you will need to give them a quick brush down at least once a week. More in molting season. How to groom a Labrador. Grooming Labradors is easy if your pup is used to being brushed from a young age. Firm brushing with good bristle body brush will remove dried mud, sand and dust from your dog's coat and help distribute the oils through his fur. It may also improve the shine, and he will enjoy the massaging effect of the firm strokes going through his fur. Best grooming brush for Labrador. I like a plain body brush intended for horses for a quick daily, once over, they usually have a handle strap on the back and if you find one that fits your hand comfortably they are great. The slicker brush gets right into the coat and does a good job of removing dead hair on a daily basis. However, sometimes the dead hair situation calls for a more assertive tool. However, you can reduce the impact on your home, by using an efficient, rake, on his coat during periods of severe molting. An ordinary brush quickly gets clogged with dead hair and you will struggle to make much progress without a special tool for loosening dead hair. Dog grooming in the backyard. Whether you are using a standard rake or a specific shedding tool, you need to do this outside. You will be astounded at the quantity of fur that comes out of your shedding dog. Wear something old and that hairs cannot easily get embedded into. Or you will simply transfer his coat onto your clothes. How often should I groom my dog? You don't need to groom your dog every day if you don't want to, but if you make this part of your daily routine, your dog will get used to the process and benefit from the regular physical contact. If you don't fancy going into battle with dead hair during the worst of the molting season, you can always treat your Labrador to a pampering at your local dog salon. But there are still occasions when your dog's coat will need some additional attention. Because labs might be gorgeous, adorable friends. But they are also rather mucky pups. Puppy Shampoo and Dog Shampoo when you bathe your puppy, use a specially designed puppy shampoo or adult dog shampoo labeled as safe for puppies from 8 weeks. This won't be as strong and will be kind to your puppy's skin and her coat. It is not a good idea to shampoo your older Labrador regularly unless you really need to. Especially in the winter. This is because the shampoo strips out the natural oils and reduces the waterproofing and cold repellent qualities of his double coat. How to bathe your dog with a hose. Labradors don't mind cold water when the weather is fine. This means the most of the time if he's got a bit mucky you can hose him down in the backyard. But if your Labrador is not fit for human habitation after a hosing down, a good shampooing will be necessary too. You can do this in nice weather, outside in the backyard too. Have a couple of large towels ready before you begin. Because it is so waterproof, it is not easy to get a Labrador's coat wet. Do your best and work some shampoo into the coat. Use a glob the size of a coin, and rub with your fingers working it into the coat. Especially where he is mucky. Then hose her down and repeat. Although your lab appears to have a very simple to manage coat, it still needs regular attention to stay in top condition. Grooming at least once a week and bathing when he gets mucky will help you keep your pup in great shape. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. 
Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.